Welcome to Classic Game Room, where it's time to break out your plastic firearms and defend the Earth from zombie mutant alien animals. Or is that a different game? A lot of people complain about these games, like, how can you go out there and shoot these defenseless animals? But the thing is, I love endangered species burgers. Especially when they're made from Ugnot. I don't know where Lando finds those things, or how he stops himself from eating them all. I'm the administrator of this facility with these awesome hamburgers. Lando, these burgers are delicious. What is this, zebra? No, baby, that's Ugnot. Anyway, there's no Ugnot in this game because... Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2013 is a work of fiction. Cloud City is real. And I'll tell you what else is real. The Top Shot Fear Master, which comes with this game and has heart rate sensors that don't work on treadmills, so I don't know why they think it would work on a cheap plastic rifle. Only one animal left to hunt. Look at that nice stack of Vectrex games. Dangerous Hunts 2013 returns for its 2013th installment and brings along one of my favorite features, the shooting galleries. Old school shooter on rails arcade style gameplay like House of the Dead, except with zombies. Because you know there's a real zombie in that bear suit, not just some Sega employee wearing a costume. Previously, I've referred to these games as porn for hunters, and I think that's an accurate statement. I mean, look at this. Where on earth is like this? That's not even close to proper English, but you know what I'm saying. I don't even know why they bother giving you a rifle. You should go out there with an M60 and just light these things up. So obviously the Dangerous Hunts developers need to get together with the Far Cry 3 team and make it happen. Let's hit it! The reflex mode returns, which is a lot of fun where you shoot these animals in order to score extra points. The arcade modes support up to four players, so you can invite some friends over and have a dangerous hunts party. Great. Now if only they would fix the other modes of gameplay where they try to combine first person shooting with hunting games. And a rifle that just doesn't work. To be fair, these games have never been made for an audience that plays a lot of video games. The series has moved away from just shooting galleries, which are its best feature, into these hybrid first-person shooter hunting games, where you control your character with the thumbstick on the back of the rifle. Does that actually work for anyone? I find the control scheme frustrating beyond belief, and there's still not a good way to calibrate your rifle in this game. Round complete. I never thought I'd say this, but I wish it worked with the PlayStation Move. And then there's the Top Shot Fear Master, which supposedly can read your heart rate and sense when you're calm and holding your breath. You've got him. Take this. Oh, I'm getting lightheaded. How many players are going to just pass out after a night of heavy drinking with Cabela's Dangerous Hunts? 2013. I can't drink and hold my breath at the same time. Oh. Now, for what it's worth, the storyline mode this time around plays out like a combination of Dangerous Hunts and Resident Evil, which is kind of entertaining, but that brings me back to my earlier point. If you've ever heard of Resident Evil, Far Cry, or House of the Dead, you're not going to be into this game. It's for your Grandpa Jim, or your dad whose last video game experience was Pac-Man, in which case you should also tell him to watch this show. Classic Game Room, it's on the interwebs. And to calm down all of you animal rights activists out there, I'm not playing this game to shoot animals. I'm playing this game to feed animals tasty humans. Because nine times out of ten, I'm getting eaten by hyenas. The strength, shooting galleries, the weakness, anything that requires movement with the thumbstick on a rifle. Oh my god, you shot Babar! This also works with the previous rifle, the Top Shot Elite Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2013 makes a great gift for that hunter in your life. Unless that hunter is Bigfoot. Because Bigfoot is a huge Call of Duty fan and these controls will drive him nuts. 